This movie tells a story about a former soldier named Joshua who finds the secret weapon, a robot in the form of a young child, against the backdrop of a war between humans and robots with artificial intelligence. First of all, this movie has a good and imposing visual aspects with real locations, impressive design work, and good visual effects. Unfortunately, the story really lacks originality. The footage of a war between America and anyone caught developing AI looks decent, but it's not enough to save a derivative plot. This movie feels like a lot of movies scrunched together, and most of them are very familiar as it borrows its conceptual ideas from those who came before it. It's channeling Total Recall, Blade Runner, Avatar, Children of Men, District 9, and many more. The plot oscillates between borrowing and synthesizing bits and pieces of those movies and establishing its scenario with minimal lucidity and even less logic. The movie is simply a combination of the old stereotypes and recycled parts. It tries to explore humanity, interspecies harmony, and technological advances as a force for good, not fear. However, the script telegraphs the soulfulness and profundity with such insistence that those aspects end up feeling fabricated. It feels so sloppy, corny, and unconvincing. The movie is too immersed in the visuals to focus on character development and sometimes leaves big holes on the story. Why would you send Joshua, an African-American man, into East Asia or Southeast Asia as an undercover agent? Surely, an East or Southeast or even South Asian-American person be a better choice. The parts of Asia covered here in this movie makes the decision-making of the Special Ops Force questionable. Joshua's relationship with Maya also feels artificial and exists mostly in flashback fragments. His big mission doesn't seem to actually require his particular skills, and his relationship with the little girl doesn't develop. The movie fails big time in trying to develop the necessary bond between these two protagonists as their scenes together are exceedingly lifeless. It just materializes because that's the only way to fuel the movie's bigger emotional swings. Some of the human characters often feel like an afterthought and the acting destroys the reality the movie is trying to establish. The AI characters are not interesting as well, as they are more like symbols. Many of the robots have human faces, and the gimmick here is distractingly fake. It's obvious that we're watching human actors who've had gears grafted onto the in-post-production, as opposed to robots with lifelike expressions. At every other turn, a narrative development begs a question that goes unanswered, cast aside so the material can proceed along its preachy path. Overall, this movie has a decent visuals, but really lacking in everything else. We do not recommend to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.